Okay, hey, welcome. This is Glenn Dane. Uh, I think you all know me. Uh, be teaching the 7194 course. This is a graduate course out of Ohio State University, material science and engineering. Um, most important part of this particular slide is uh, that's my contact info. Um, could just sort of start out with a little bit of philosophy. Really, the way I want to do this course this this semester is work with you guys. Be sort of a, a group leader uh, to an extent. Show how material science might be applied to ninth grade physical science, and uh, really support you guys to do some good things with that. So, so with my contact information, please feel free to call me, email me. I am available. I want to be an active part of this, not a not a uh, passive instructor, but uh, we're going to be building, uh, basically trying to build this course together is going to be the approach that we uh, we end up taking. Um, so the, the other thing I'll say is bear with me with the software. Um, this is a uh, thing of this, uh, the, the first recording was, was outstanding. Uh, this one I hope is uh, half as good, but the technology glitched up. So I'm using a different system, and I know this system has a quirk. The first time I did it, it, it it chopped out after 15 minutes, so I'm probably going to stop this tape after 15 minutes and go to the next one and do it in, in, in pieces. So uh, that disclaimer for now, but we'll, we'll get better. We'll get the bugs knocked out, but it, it is important to get this up, and I am uh, traveling until, until Monday. So with each of these lectures, um, I think, uh, as, as all of you know, the, one of the things you want to do with a good lesson plan is, is have some objectives in mind, what you want to get out of this, and this is what I want to talk about in this lecture is basically um, how this course will operate, what you need to do to get a good grade, uh, to get credit, uh, tell you a little bit about where there's more information on the web, talk about how material science can be an integrating topic for ninth grade physical science, and we'll talk a lot about how we can collaborate, and some of this will be figured out as we go. I'll be taking your input on this, um, and we'll figure that out as we go through the course, and that's what I want to get out of this particular uh, set of slides. Um, so disclaimer and goals. Again, this course is really about you all using material science content in your ninth grade physical science classroom. I am going to be developing this course as we deliver it. Um, and please feel free to guide me. Call me up, use the discussion boards. I'll show you how we'll, we'll do things. If you're watching this lecture, you're already um, a good way through where we want you to, to be and in terms of you've got the, the technology working. Um, acknowledgements. The, the, this MSP program that we have, this is uh, funded by the state of Ohio. Uh, I'm really thrilled that, uh, the, that, that they're allowing us to do this. Hopefully we're going to do some useful things. I think, um, I, I think we're doing some useful things. Hopefully you agree with that. We have a wonderful team assembled of people with completely different skill sets. Um, Howard Green is our project manager. Andy Nightum, you, you all have had Andy in your classrooms, has been doing, uh, let me just scratch through him, has been teaching material science in classrooms for the past 25 years or so. Um, Andrew Heckler is somebody who thinks about pedagogy of science teaching and misconceptions. He's a professor in physics. Michelle McCombs is working on uh, project evaluation. Terry Shiverdecker is working on pedagogy as well. Karen Jackson has introduced material science in her classroom at, uh, at Toll's Career Academy. Darren Greschik um, also is uh, uh, somebody who's taught material science at the high school level. He's working on curriculum issues. We're hoping we can do things closely with him. And, uh, and, and, and Kathy Babushi keeps it all together. Um, point of this, I've come into this process uh, after there's been about 20 years of work by a number of people starting mostly in Pacific Northwest, Patel Northwest National Lab, ASM Education Foundation got involved. Many people have been working on this and it really hasn't quite crystallized. I'm hoping what we're doing here in Columbus can uh, bring this all together. Um, I'm also going to be stealing material that has been developed from our 205 course, which is now called uh, 2010. Uh, the, the, the other software uses a pen here. I have to use my finger and my iPad. I like the pen better. But the uh, through our, our, our 
we have a course that's now called 2010, was called 205. Pete Anderson's one of the guys that put that uh, together in its present form. And that's something that all of our engineers take. And you'll see a lot of the content that's, that's pieces of it taken, and, and it's, it's going to be done more slowly and more systematically than it, be do, than it would be done for our engineers. But that is going to be leveraged. Honda Partnership Program uh, is providing some funding to cover gaps that the state won't. And if anybody that's dealt with state budgets know that there's might like to do. Well, if you've got this far, you've got into the Carmen system, um, you have uh, been and you've seen what this looks like. There's always news up here that we will use. Content is where this lecture is. Uh, we will use all these tools here. The discussion board I want, I'm hoping we can use, we, we will use. The Dropbox is how you will submit, uh, submit content. Quizzes, we will have some online quizzes with some of the lectures. I'll explain how all that works. Um, and if you're watching this lecture, you've already been to carmen.osu.edu. And uh, lastly, I will not necessarily grade, uh, keep grades up to date every week, but I will keep grades up to date fairly, fairly often, or, or uh, update them fairly often so you know where you stand. In terms of grading, um, this is, uh, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit first, let's do communication. Um, communication, uh, if there's something that, that doesn't need to be private, I would just assume you use the Carmen discussion tool to do that, that way everybody can benefit from uh, whatever knowledge we generate. We can actually hopefully build a little bit of community doing something a little like what we're trying to do with the Ning board. We'll see what works better. We might end up going back to Ning or something like that. Um, if you've got to communicate with me and it doesn't, it better, it's better and it's not for the whole group, use an email line and the subject line put in brackets, bracket 7194, that's our course number, and I'll, I'm going to write a little macro so it goes into a folder that has all the stuff for this course. That will keep me from losing things. I get more email than I'd like to admit, and it's a it's a problem. If you do this, it's likely to uh, likely to I, I can find it when I need it, and uh, you'll get what you need. Uh, I think I only go back forward with this software. If you, if you get 60 points, that puts you into a B. Keep going forward. <laughs> Hopefully this all is working. Um, so, so with that, there will also be projects. You can get 60 points. You can get a B just by doing the weekly work. If you do something with a project, we can get another 25 points. You can do topic discussions. We can get up to 30 points that way. Lots of ways to accumulate the points so you can get a good grade. Hopefully, we're not doing things for a grade. We're doing things for higher higher reasons, but basically if you do projects, things we really like to do, and this is sort of what you're doing with Terry already, is a full lesson plan, show how it worked, analyze what's going on, give some examples of student work. What I'd like to do is take the good lesson plans and then disseminate those further, and hopefully these are integrated with the course and we start to develop vetted material that you guys use in your classes that others can use, and that's what we want to do going forward. And The point of this is, is to create new content that others in the future. So um, another question I want to put out there, and, and please either go to me or go to the discussion boards, is would you like to do it this way, where I sit here by myself and try to act as animated as I can without be looking a little psychotic, um, and uh, which is a little, little bit difficult, or um, it would help me sort of, uh, I think, pace it and see where people are at if we could do this where people wanted to come and actually be part of this and there could be some discussion and I can bring my laptop that records. We can do that in front of a group. And that could either be at OSU or Columbus City School site. There are a few places we can get where we have a parking right by a classroom. I think it might also be possible to buy pizzas or something like that if it's around dinner time. It shouldn't replace dinner, but take the edge off at least. Or it could be, you know, I think 4 o'clock or so might be a good time for you. I'm, I'm flexible and can do that. What would you prefer? Let me know. Use a discussion tool. Um, either way is, is, is absolutely fine by me. Um, and then the other thing, everything in this course is pretty much negotiable. 
We can give gradable elements, give points for discussions in Carmen, uh, being parts of this discussions, other curriculum building activities you suggest. Um, like to give everybody an A, and I also want to have a reason to give everyone an A, but uh, you suggest, but uh, there should be lots of, lots of opportunities already. Okay, so why are we using material science in ninth grade? I, I'm a material science guy. That's what I've been doing for many years. Um, I was blown away the first time I realized that there are people that teach this at the high school level. Um, we started promoting this at Ohio State, and, and since then, I've seen loads of examples where teachers love it, students love it, and it gives genuine experiential opportunities that are very different than anything else that's in high school today. I think it's wonderful stuff that way. Um, material science starts with applied chemistry, and it really shows how science leads to products. And there's stuff we all like, and, it, and everybody is interested innately in how the stuff that we like is made, or at least I am, and how, how it's put together, what, how you can make it better. So I think that's a really good hook into this, and uh, nobody, I think, has really completely developed the pedagogy and the whole approach for putting that together. And that's what we, partly what we want to do. Material science also is a very natural integrator for science, technology, engineering, and math. This is done with low-cost demos. We have an ethic where we're trying to make all the content free, downloadable over time. Um, I'm on the ASM Education Foundation Board. We have an ethic where that's what we're trying to do, make, make content available for the greater good. Um, content is appropriate for high school. It works. Andy can tell you many stories about students who have been turned around by this material. Beth Eddy is doing similar things in Westerville South. It does work. Um, Again, as I mentioned, this goes back to things that happened in, in Washington State. There was a nice manual made. The manual is now available, open access. I'll give you the links if you haven't seen it before. There's lots of low-cost demos available for glass forming, slip casting, laminating composites, phase diagrams and solder, making nylons, polymers. Some of these we'll get to in this thing. We're going to give 10 hours of, of lecture-like material. We're not going to do as much that is in, we're not going to do nearly everything that's in there. We're going to try to do some targeted things, develop them rather fully with some very specific objectives in mind, but not try to hit the whole thing. That's what the aim of uh, this course is. Um, so the ms and course, um, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to try to blow this up a little bit because I, I, I know with this piece of software, um, it's a little bit... Uh, yeah. This is an experiment. I'll see how this works. <laughs> so, so anyway, there's example topics in you know, solids, metals, ceramics and glasses, polymers. There's all these topics, all these example activities. Um, and if there's anything on these lists, I'm going to leave it to you to read these things, that you would like to develop into something that we could develop into a high school module, let me know what we'll do that. There's lots of good stuff that's in there. But again, what we want to do in this course is take a few things and develop them fully rather than show you lots and lots of examples, which uh, uh, is, I think, the natural inclination, but we're going to fight that. So this is the last slide I'm going to put on, on this particular uh, deck, and then I'm going to make another one because I'm afraid that I'm going to run out of... Uh, uh, it might cut off after 15 minutes. So anyway, there's primary resources. If you bring up the PowerPoint that's in here, it's in the, it's, it's in the uh, uh, content thing. The link should work. ASM uh, International, their foundation, has a lot of this stuff up there under these links. Um, I've got a compendium that is on a computer that hopefully in the next week or so will be uh, moved. This content exists. We'll move it to a new server, this particular computer one. And kaput. Uh, Cambridge has some nice high-level stuff. Um, MaterialsEducation.org, there were some nice things done in Washington State again, Edmonds, Washington. Um, some of that's compiled there. Like this is the last slide. And then, and then Professor Peter Anderson, um, this, this course we teach to all incoming um, engineers, or some point almost all engineers over their, over their education take this. All the lectures, all the material for that is available here. It's full course. If you want to dive into depth on anything, the depth is there. 
Um, I know you're all busy, and all, all, as much as you might like to do this, uh, I recognize that uh, uh, you've got other things going on. So I'm going to stop there, um, and uh, I'll be back to you in uh, the next reel of this in a moment.